So uh, what's next for you in, the, in terms of this, of the climate change, I was going to say negotiations, but in terms of the climate change campaign, yeah. what, how do you see, because it's a crucial year now, we've finished, almost finished Poznan, it's not going to be very exciting results, but we've got a work program and so on, we're heading up for Copenhagen, what, are you going to be busy this year? This is going to be an extremely busy year on, on climate change. We, we, you know, Avaz works, it's a multi-issue group. So we work uh, on, you know, Tibet and Burma and um, uh, the crisis in Zimbabwe and Congo and, uh, you know, all over the world, the, the war in Iraq and Guantanamo. But when we pull, and, and people come in through all these different doors, through all these different issues. But when, he, when we pull our members about the issues that are of greatest concern to them, no matter how they first got involved with Avaz, overwhelmingly climate change is the number one issue. And so we have a very strong mandate from our members in every world region to, to try to take on climate change urgently next year. I think one of the things that you might see uh, Avaz doing is working more with uh, countries in the global south that are really taking an increasingly strong leadership role in, in calling for the kinds of change that we need. Uh, last year, we, or this past year, we've worked with some of the small island states that are pushing here in the U this UN process, also the UN General Assembly, to get recognition that uh, this isn't about preventing a future problem. This is their entire countries are threatened right now. Uh, and we've been working to help, you know, uh, raise the profile of their of their cause and, and uh, you know, rally support for, for urgent action on that basis. Um, but we're, um, you know, we're, we're, we're talking to a whole, uh, a whole bunch of different people and, and folks are, are definitely encouraged to send in suggestions. What we look for are the opportunities for our members to have the greatest, uh, the greatest impact that they can. So we look for moments when a change is possible if uh, public pressure is applied in the right way, and we, we try to give that channel to our members to uh, to influence the, the course of things and, and bring global public opinion to bear on these global decisions. And uh, you're very despondent about uh, Obama being president-elect. Presumably everything's going to be okay now. You'll have nothing to campaign about. You know, that would be great. And uh, I think my wife would be overjoyed if all crises uh, were, were taken care of tidily and we no longer had to send late-night emails from, uh, from the Abbas list. Um, but, the, you know, the fact is, both within the United States and around the world, uh, if you try to do anything significant, there's bound to be a lot of resistance. And we're seeing that right now. I mean, Merkel, uh, it appears, is changing her tune because of incredible pressure from heavy industry in Germany. And so even when you have someone, I, I guess at this point I, I can't speak to, to Merkel's intentions, but uh, a leader who, who wants to do the right thing, they need a, a huge wave of grassroots support in order to be able to carry out their agenda. This isn't something politicians can do alone in closed rooms. It's only possible if the, uh, if the playing field is, is kind of you know, packed with, with advocates uh, who, are, who are trying to champion the things they believe in. Would you think this, the Merkel uh, campaign is one of your, I don't know if you can call it a success yet, but what, 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 is your, what, what things would you point to for Avaz as, as influencing something? Yeah. Uh, well, last year we, you know, the, the biggest problems were Canada, Japan, and the United States. And at these climate change negotiations, there's two tracks, one with everybody and one with all the countries that have ratified Kyoto. So in that, that second track, uh, the United States was not part of it. And in that track, we were able, uh, you know, working with partners and with a huge number of people around the world, including about 1% of the Canadian uh, voting public, uh, in the course of the last few days of the conference, to pressure Canada and Japan to drop their objections to uh, a reference to strong t uh, targets for 2020. And both countries, you know, caved at the last moment. The official, uh, you know, Bali document reflects the, reflects the change. And German papers afterwards, uh, we ran an ad a, a little bit in the, not a Star Wars ad, it was themed on the Titanic, but we ran an ad uh, at the end of Bali that was then reprinted in Japanese papers. It, apparently, at a cabinet meeting, uh, the environment minister of Japan waved the newspaper and said, is this how we want the world to see our country, blocking progress on climate change? And uh, it was that meeting where the, the prime minister decided to adopt a 2020 target for Japan. So these, the newspaper ads are pretty effective. I mean, they, it seems they get through to a big audience and have an impact that uh, sort of officials and politicians understand more maybe even than melting ice men out in the in the road outside the Poznan uh, headquarters that it, it gets it doesn't get to the people you want to get to let's say there's no there's no silver bullet there's no sort of magic formula in advocacy uh, it's not the the size of an organization's uh, newspaper ad it's it's how they use it and so the you know the key thing and what, what we look for as uh, on the on the staff at Avaz as, as kind of 
servants of our, of our members is we look for moments when, when the right intervention done the right way can have that kind of explosive effect. And so with a petition, for example, uh, we, we try not to do petitions to nowhere. We, we, we do petitions where we know how we're going to deliver it. You know, we'll have, we'll, we'll have a meeting and we'll bring to that meeting box after box of, you know, messages from constituents or, or uh, sometimes we'll target a, a key trading partner of a country in order to influence one country's policy. Uh, we'll push another country that's more concerned about their international reputation and, and give our members a chance to flood them with messages saying, you know, South Africa, please tell you know, Zimbabwe to uh, stop with the beating of opposition members. Right. Um, and that's the, uh, I think that's the trick of it. And, and you know, I think, we, I think we, we have had some success and we're going to keep on pushing until we, ha until we have a lot more. And, and uh, uh, you know, there's no upper limit to the amount of, of success we'll need in order to beat climate change. Okay, that's a great note to end on. Thanks very much for coming in. Look forward to the next shouting countdown. There's going to be one tomorrow, is there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we look forward to seeing who's the evil doers of the day there. So thanks very much. Yeah, it's been. And thanks very much for the entertainment you provide down the corridor. <laughs> it's much appreciated. Uh, thanks. See you again yeah. at uh, Copenhagen, maybe. Great to join you. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot.